In today's golf lesson, we are trying to fix this mid-handicap golfer's chipping. He's been chipping well all year, but it's started to go a little bit. So he's hitting shots just like the ones on screen, but we're going to be using hack motion today to diagnose exactly why this is happening and why this could feed into your game, guys. So in this golf lesson today, we are going to show how we've got Dave from the position on the left to the position on the right. We're out here today at Waterfront Golf, and we are going to be doing some chipping with mid-handicap Dave. Dave, retired mid handicap Dave. And guys, Indeed. if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 50 thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you're a regular viewer of the channel welcome back and i hope you are enjoying the new format to the channel so a little bit more coaching still doing the reviews we've got some reviews coming up with dave on the channel you might have seen the p770s against the p790s and what forgiving clubs you should be buying but today we're talking about dave's chipping and i will put some highlights on if i can find them if not i'm sure dave will send them of his chipping over the summer. So we had a match at Garforth and Dave chipped fantastically well. So if he did miss the green, he was chipping very close, getting up and down. And with all Dave's shots, he was able to beat me on that occasion. We actually did lose the back nine and the footage from that, unfortunately. I think beat you without the shots, if I'm honest. I strongly disagree with that, Dave, but we'll go with it for this video. So obviously when it comes to chipping, obviously we want to get that consistency in strikes. So Dave needs to obviously be getting a correct low point. And just like that, you potentially could catch that heavy. And the main thing is there for Dave is understanding why he might have caught that heavy. The opposite thing we've seen from Dave is when he gets a little bit quick, he starts to get, and he might get that one there. He gets a good strike, but he started to lose that distance control. And that was the main thing. So if you're struggling with your distance control, with flighting the golf ball, then this golf lesson, we're gonna give you some golf tips to get that down. Let's get Dave in, let's see his action, let's get hack motion on and start to see where he's going wrong. Right, so Dave's in here with the hack motion. The first thing we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is calibrate Dave. So arm in that position there. Let's go. Leads, 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 leads. Leads, leads, leads. And then go to 45 degrees. Good. And we are ready to go. So Dave's just gonna hit a couple of shots here and we're gonna to start to see some numbers that you'll see coming up on screen as Dave hits them. And we're going to start to diagnose where he might be going a little bit wrong. So again, a low one on the face there. And we can see on screen there that obviously we are getting a little bit too flexed at the top and then too extended impact. So a lot of motion there. That's, Let's kind, go. Of, that, that's kind of one of them that I get. And the other one is that when it, it used to check somewhere halfway, but now it just carries on. Okay, all right then, so let's get another one in there. And again, you can see on the screen that motion that Dave's just done there. And let's see him. Again, a little bit of a drop kick there. So you can see on the screen exactly what we're getting there. Two flex in the backswing, which let's have a look at those motions in slow motion now. So we can see there from Dave a couple of things that are bad traits of Dave. And again, when I get a lot of people come for chipping lessons, it's a very similar theme that we do get that a little bit further away and then that club wants to work a long way behind. And you can see with Dave, he gets this lead wrist actually flexing a little bit. That keeps that club face closed. And then from there, Dave obviously has that little bit of a loop over the top and then it's very hard for him to catch up unless he releases early and that's where he gets those drop kicks from and that's also where he gets the thins from so it's coming from the same thing which is good so obviously straight away there we're not trying to overcomplicate it that there's six different things going wrong which is always good so Dave wants to get a little bit closer to the golf ball which we're going to get him in shortly and then Dave wants to feel if anything I want him to feel like he's actually adding loft so he's actually getting this wrist to extend in the back swing and then from there he can just turn on the way through so it's going to be a different feel for him it's not going to actually probably get him into a position where it is there but it'll get him nice and neutral because with short game i want to keep it nice and simple for you and you will see that on the channel we want to make sure that we've got a nice consistent setup close to the golf ball we pick our ball position or club to pick the trajectory but then from there i'm trying to think we're not trying to add loft we're not trying to do anything in particular 
we've got the loft on there, the setup's good, I should be able to get turning back, turning through, and get that launch that I want. A nice strike there with plenty of spin and minimal ground interaction. So a little bit of downward hit in there, but I'm not trying to take a big divot from here. I'm also not trying to, from here, make a big swing and get that club going up to the sky, up to the moon, because you'll see that I lose control of one, my low point, but also my distance control. So let's get Dave back in here. Let's get him working on that motion with the hack motion. And guys, if you want to have a look at a hack motion for yourself, or you want to get in for any kind of lessons to use this and try and sort your game out, give me an email on that email below or the link for hack motion is in the description below and if you do click on that guys it does help the channel out and it will help you improve your game right dave so obviously i want you to feel like you're actually cupping that wrist on the left hand so like that so that's it so turn and get that wrist there you go so straight away there we can see that club's working a lot more out and that club face is rotating so let's see that posture you can see dave's a little bit taller there Closer to the ball. Right, let's see what it does on a shot here now. So we've got the hack motion on. Feel that a little bit wider. So straight away there. A little bit of a divot there. So again, what would you say that felt like, Dave? Uh, it felt very strange, Chris. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've always sort of felt like I should be doing like that. Yeah. Now you're saying, although the body movement's the same, it's almost like I'm taking it up outside. Yep, that's it. So exaggerated. So again, that was a little bit inside. There you go. So for you, it's going to feel really wide. So better strike there. A little bit lower launch and a bit of spin there, Dave. So yeah, one more. That's what I was looking for. And we'll see on screen there we have got that closer to being in the green, which is exactly what we want. So better at the backswing and better into impact. Great flight there. So great flight, plenty of spin on that one. And that's what we like to see, Dave. So again, a little bit of consistency there. Again, it doesn't feel great all the time. Certainly feels different. Certainly does, yeah. It just feels like, as I say, I'm not used to kind of taking it on the outside. Yeah. But from what you're saying, I'll probably see when the video comes out. I'm not taking it on the outside, I'm just doing where it should be. Well, I might even treat you and show you over oh. breakfast, Dave. My breath is baited. Okay, so a little bit heavy, but that'll come from that. But again, wrist angle's better there, Dave. And that, we would like to say, is a good bad one. And guys, the key thing here, obviously, when you're having lessons is what we're trying to do is get your bad shots a little bit better. So even there, Dave caught that a little bit heavy, but start line was better. Flight was very similar to a good one. And that ran out to about 15 feet. So again, there, improvement. And we're gonna film Dave's motion up now on the next hole and show you the differences from the first swing of how that motion is starting to change. Yes, it's all about practice. It's coming towards the end of the season, but you still want to have that game ready, ready for the winter when it's different lives, which we'll be going through shortly when the weather changes. Let's have a look at that motion. So if we have a look at Dave's technique here, we can see straight away that setup looks very similar, but this move from the start is the big difference. You can see with a little bit of feel and that thought with hack motion, you can see how that takeaway has drastically improved. So much more on plane now, a big difference. And Dave didn't feel like it was too different, but straight away there, we can see that on screen. If we continue to the top of the backswing, again, Huge difference here because the same distance shot there, but we can see obviously Dave's got a lot of work to do on the left, whereas he's in a much better position on that right. And we'll also see there isn't as much loop into transition and into the downswing. And as we come down, we can see again straight away there how Dave's on plane on the right, he's under plane, so he gets those drop kicks, those thins, potentially those fats from that position on the left. You can also see how much quicker he's having to make that motion. So he's already nearly down at the golf ball, whereas on the right, he's still just getting into delivery. So we strike it a little bit quicker with the first shot. We can see straight away there a higher ball flight. 
And for me, on the way through, we can see that golf club on the left has wrapped around him. He's has to do a lot of rescuing there. But on the right, it's in front of his body. So much more controlled. But guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that lesson there. We're going to do a lot more of this. And you will see Dave's driver lesson on the channel next week. But hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying that. And let's try and get to 50,000.